Brown up, bump, bound on, ba dum, ba dum, ba dum, ba da da down, chick chick down, down, chick chick down, 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 chick 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 down, chick chick down, down, chick chick down, 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 down. I know, I know, I know. Copyrights. <laughs> I mean, you know, what are you gonna do, right? You know, the good Lord giveth, and the government taketh away. You know, but anywho, hey guys, it's your good buddy Dave from Carsby. And I'm glad you guys decided to click on, on this video today. Because, man, I got something I want to talk about. Man, I, I've been getting a lot of noise. I've been hearing a lot of noise. I get a lot of static from people that's been car racing for a while. And, uh, and they tell me things like, Dave, I don't need race data. All I need is my stopwatch, my two eyes the good Lord's blessed me with, and my good old can of prep. That's all I need. And man, I hear that. I got you. I got you, man. You know, but there's certain things that your stopwatch can't tell you, you know, and in this video, I'm going to show you why. All right. But oh, oh, one second. Copyrights. What are you going to do? All right, ladies and gentlemen, you want to know why race data is cool and important? Check this out. What you're looking at is one lap from a test session we did last year, okay? Um, the All the way to the left is the start and finish line. So you're looking at the first part of the front straightaway, turns one, turns two, the back straightaway, turns three, turns four, and then the second half of the front straightaway coming back to the start and finish line. The top graph here is speed. Uh, the second graph is steering input. The third graph in the blue is right front tire load. So how many, how much weight is being applied to the right front uh, tire? The red here is uh, right front temperature. How much tire temp is in the right front? The last graph here is right rear load. How much weight is being transferred to the right rear? And then in red is right rear tire temperature. Okay. To your right here, to the top right is um what we call a scatter plot and it's um on the x-axis is right front temp on the y-axis is right front load and then uh to the bottom here the bottom scatter graph is a um or scatter plot i should say is on the x-axis right rear temp and on the y-axis here is right rear load how much weight is being applied to the right rear okay so check this out if you look here, the when load gets applied to the right front and to the right rear, temperatures start going down on the tire. Why is that happening? Because the more weight is being applied to the tire, the tire is gaining grip and the tire is starting to run cooler. But then it gets to a point, right, where load gets so much that all of a sudden the temperature here starts starts increasing. Why? Because the tire is starting to slide, right? And then you start seeing the temperature go down and then go up, go down and go up. And you see the load do the same thing on the right front. Look at look at turns three and four, same thing happens. Load increases and right front temperature starts going down. But all of a sudden, it gets to a point where the load overwhelms the tire and the tire starts sliding and you see the tire pick up heat, then cool down, pick up heat and cool down, which means the tire is gripping and sliding and gripping and sliding, all right? And you can see where it's kind of hitting the threshold of, of, of load that the tire can handle. All of a sudden, what happens? The sidewall is distorting, okay? You're getting, you're getting deflection in the sidewall. And these waves right here in temperature is actually the sidewall giving up on the tire. And so it's sliding and gripping, sliding and gripping. So that right there is the sidewall giving up on the right front. Same thing's happening on the right rear. Look at that. We start applying load, and all of a sudden... When we get too much, when the tire gets overloaded and it, and it uh, exceeds the grip threshold of the tire, the temperature skyrocket, the tire starts sliding. And what do you see these little dips here? That's the sidewall distorting and deflecting, and it's sliding and gripping, sliding and gripping. All right? If you look here, look how the tire load on the right front and the scatter plot on the top. Load is increasing. All of a sudden, it hits a wall, and what happens? The temperature 
starts really increasing right here. So once it gets past about 50 pounds of load, all of a sudden, the temperature starts skyrocketing up. Same thing here on the right rear. Once it gets past about 60 pounds, all of a sudden, the tire starts really sliding and picking up temperature. All right? So you want to know why data is cool? That's why data is cool. Because it tells you exactly what's happening to the go-kart and when it's happening. So you can make a great decision. <laughs> I know, man. That's cool, right? That's really good. It's rad. I know it was rad, right? So, and that's what I'm talking about. Race data allows you to go deeper than just lap times. Race data allows you to go in and figure out what exactly the problem is. What area of the go-kart is having a breakdown during the turn and being able to focus your attention there and resolve an issue. Instead of guessing at what you think maybe the problem is, going, I don't know, is the, is the rear coming around? I don't know, is the, is the front darting? Should we put some cross in it? Maybe we should take some cross out. Maybe we should add some camera to it. Maybe we should take some camera out. Instead of, instead of going on a wild goose chase, now again, you can focus on what exactly the problem is and then concentrate your efforts and decision making into resolving said problem. Oh, 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 one second. Move the clip. I know. I did. Copyrights, you know? Well, guys, I appreciate you joining me again for another video. And I appreciate you guys subscribing to the channel. And uh, until next time, you know, racing's hard. Racing's hard. There ain't no sense into making it harder than it needs to be. So again, until next time, don't be leaving no speed in the trailer. Take care, guys.